What's up, everybody? It's Keefe from Ghost Cult Magazine, ghostcultmag.com, and I'm here with the one and only Dallas from Narcotic Wasteland. How are you, sir? I'm doing quite well. It is great to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be back. Yeah, back in New York City, we last chatted at Blackthorn 51, uh, right when the record came out, uh, and uh, you guys are on tour right now with Pathology, Sick Sick Tour, Amazing Night of Death Metal here in Brooklyn at St. Vitus Bar, all kind of you know, malignancy in the house, contrarian, what a tour, what a tour. Yeah, man, a lot of diversity there, you know, a little bit different shit here and there. I, I think that doesn't hurt instead of just, you know, uh, booking uh, a tour or whatever with just like the same kind of thing for every band. I, I just... I don't, I don't think that really works. It's nice to have a little bit of variety in there. You know, we're just, you know, narcotics kind of like the odd one out, actually, because we're like a little bit thrashy and punky in a way. Um, and we bring back a lot of the old school. And, uh, you know, and then you have some new stuff. I'm a bit malignancy, man. I mean, that's just like kind of legendary status, in my opinion. You know, um, definitely somebody that didn't necessarily get the credit that they deserve, in my opinion. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, we just talked to those guys, actually. They're awesome. That was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really excited to see you. Uh, first of all, brand new song tonight, uh, brand new single coming out soon, uh, and a brand new drummer. So a lot of new stuff sort of changing it up and, uh, you know, shifting things along. Pretty cool. How'd you get Sterling in the band? That kid is amazing. Well, you know, same old thing. We just kind of put it out there that we're looking for a drummer and, you know, our... Uh, our current ex drummer, uh, he decided he wanted to go play in Malevolent Creation, and we said, uh, "Cool, good luck with that." Mm. And uh, there you go. And but we're going to continue, and uh, and we, I like the style that Sterling has. Um, I think naturally he has the style that's kind of between the debut album and Delirium Tremens. So, and that actually happens to be kind of where the new material is going. I, I really feel that we've kind of really starting to establish a sound and uh, that's where we're kind of going to go for on the next stuff. Um, and we're, we're, we're pretty deep into the next record already. So, you know, spring 2020, expect a tour, expect a new album and all that good stuff. See, you interview Dallas and he does your job for you by like just answering stuff without even being asked. This is the best interview already of 2019 for me. Uh, <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, just like the last one was the best one of 2018. And uh, yeah, man, so, so, so stoked to get new music from you. There's a new single coming out, apparently, uh, once again. And you guys play, I believe you played it tonight. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, it was killer, man. It was very crushing, like right in, like, as you said, it was like in my mind, like very technical, but also had some really cool grooves. It was very cool. That's all about the hook. And it's all about just, uh, you know, if I'm working on a piece of material and I'm thinking about it and I have the hair coming up on my arms like this, then I, I'm there. I mean, and I practice a lot. I'm a practicing musician. I, I want to get better at the guitar and, you know, practice scales and all that crap. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's about that. Like, you know, um, and, and, you know, that's that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. Uh, you know, we can practice and sometimes that comes in handy and sometimes it's all out the fucking window. And but either way, at the end of the day, it's about creating something that translates into something that people can relate to, uh, whether it be just me or or uh, uh, 10 people or a thousand people, whatever. It's just, it's about putting yourself out there and just like really expressing yourself and what the hell it is you want to do. And you know, you can take it seriously or not take it seriously. It's all entertainment. I like anything from, you know, suffocation to circle jerks. So there's a, it's all entertainment. It's all in what you want and, uh, and what you want to achieve with your entertainment. So that's what it's about. Word. It needs to be on a t-shirt or something. That was great. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> uh, and now we have uh, the four-piece band back together again. So that's really cool. We got Because uh, last time I saw you, we were a trio. So uh, I, I think the band works best with a second guitar player supporting you. Yeah. Uh, how's it working out for you? Uh, I think... Uh, in this version, this edition of Narcotic Wasteland? Well, I actually have to say this. Um, today, we shipped our 
original lead guitarist back to Hawaii. Um, he wasn't able to do, he was able to do only two weeks for the tour. Um, so having Ed, I haven't been able to jam with Ed live for over 25 years. So that was a godsend. Um, uh, Jason is from Infuriate, which is the band that uh, Sterling plays in, our drummer. So he was the next level to kind of like fill in for when Ed couldn't, you know, finish out the tour or whatever. So I have to say, in a way, it's bittersweet um, because me and Ed back in the day, before knew it, anybody knew who the hell we were, we were really rocking some fucking shows, man. Like his lead playing, his wizardry, and I mean, his songwriting too is. It just really, me, Chris, and Ed are narcotic. You know, we are the band. Um, we've got Sterling in now for the new drummer, and he really fits the style. And uh, so he's, you know, we've got the needle in his arm now, and uh, he's going to be <clears throat> narcotic as well. And that's what kind of what we were looking for too. We want somebody who's, I, I don't, I'm not trying to be June Bug Spade in the funky suckers here. You know, I, I want a fucking band of, yeah, 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 I love it. The fucking, see, the entertainment continues. The guy behind the camera is laughing his ass off. But um, the thing is, is that I want a band that has individual members that people actually recognize and, and not doing this whole June Bugs playing the fucking song or blah, 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 and the Guitar Center kids. I don't, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's I, a band. I want a band. Right. I'm tired of this. I mean, it's it's getting old and and it's stagnating. Like what you're getting from these bands that are has X X original members left. It's usually just one. Uh, you know, it's not always a good thing. A lot of times, it's like they're missing something when they miss that guy. And uh, I'm I'm not trying to do that. I want, you know, I understand that you know our uh, lead guitarist he can't always make it. That's fine. You know what? There's been filling guys before. But uh, we're three out of four original members. We're proud of that. And it shows in the music that we write together. And that's the most important thing. Maybe we can't always tour together. That's secondary. Because what we're really trying to do here is create some awesome fucking metal. Together. Word. I love it. Uh, check out I, the band I know Sterling from is Vaginal Bear Trap. That's a, a metal archives band, basically, that I discovered uh, going down a rabbit hole. And uh, holy fuck. But, and I think a bunch of bands with a D, uh, you know, a bunch of death, grimy, gnarly death metal bands. And Sterling's fantastic. I mean, he knocked it out tonight. I'm really excited about some new, new, new narcotic wasteland records. And um, I'm so stoked to hear that you're pumped up about this. It's great to hear, you know, I think it's important, you know, musicians, working musicians is hard. It's really hard to do these album cycles and tour and in between times and work a job and take care of your family and yourself. And it's really hard. It's it's good to, to, to sound you really inspired and pumped up for the future because, you know, it's a long timeline, man, uh, of hard work and ups and downs. Absolutely. I mean, you know, and that's just it. I can go get a job and make money and blah, 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 and all that stuff. But this is what I've always done. It's always what I wanted to do. And I never gave a shit about, you know, there's a lot of people that's like, well, you know, if I don't make it in five years and if I don't make it by the time I'm 25, I'm just going to give up. Um, uh, well, you're not cut from the same cloth that I am because I don't care. All that stuff is arbitrary and it's so ridiculous. You're actually limiting yourself creatively by even thinking that way. And uh, I don't give a shit about the success, but you know what? We have fans. I mean, we're growing fans on this tour is ridiculous. We, the merchandise, we, we can't even keep it. Like it's the band is growing. It's really growing fast. And all we needed was someone to play the drums. I <laughs> know, no, you know what I'm saying though? It's just like, Everybody has to be a team player. Everybody has to be part of the the same page and and focus on that one thing. And then you, you're there. You can go do it. You can go do it as much as you want. And it's going to benefit. And, you know, people give up on it. And we didn't make it to where we thought we were going to make it. And, blah, blah, blah. and it's just like, dude, guess what? You can be completely inactive for the next 10 years. But because your music is simply out there, 
your band's still gonna grow. It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Get it together. We're at life experience coaching right here from Dallas Taller Wade. I've, I've been playing music in bands and live for 35 years. And that's the biggest mistake I see. Well, but I mean, it's not necessarily a mistake. There's nothing wrong getting what you want out of it. You know what I mean? Uh, some people, well, if I can't make a million bucks, then I'm just not going to do this anymore. And I, you know, I read too many Rush interviews for that not to work. <laughs> you know, nice. As, it was all about the music. And I was always about the craft. I was always about the riff. And that's not going to change. I'm going to rock till I drop. And if I have to get a shitty fucking day job, then whatever. I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to come out on tour and fucking do this because I don't care. Right on. Rush was hated by the critics. They almost quit 20 times. They didn't quit. And then they made 2112. So. And then it, the, what Neil called it, the skeleton key, which uh, he should have been like this. Oh, yeah, the skeleton key. Straighten your ass. Yeah, get, take it. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, well, shit, I probably should censor myself a little bit. It's all good. It's all good. I, I like the wisdom. I like the wisdom that Dallas is putting down here about how to have longevity in the music business. It's hard though, but you may, I like your spirit, man. Well, and the thing is too, it's like, what is success to you? Is it making a million bucks or is it creating some art that you know is going to be timeless? Take your pick. Dallas rules. Dallas rules. I agree. Or, I don't agree, but I do have a few like uh, opinions and ideas about shit that it, someone might agree with if they listen. Um, but that's that's my take on it. It's like you know, you've got to. It's okay to try to get what you want out of it, but for me, it's all about just creating something that gives people the chills on their arms, and and that's it. That's what I'm going for. And if it makes me money, great. If it doesn't make me money, I can I have other things I can go do to make money. I'm not worried about it. Word. What are those other things? Let's find out. Oh, anything from electronics to forklifting to warehouse management to uh, more electronics to session work to whatever. You know, I mean, you've got to make it work. You make it get work up early and uh, have some coffee. You know, early to bed, early to rise kind of guy. Sometimes. And then on the weekends, I just burn through the weekend and then sleep all Sunday. But uh, I mean, whatever, you know, you got to do what you got to do. If you have a goal, then just make it happen. Stop being a bitch. Stop being a bitch, everybody. <laughs> life lessons, life lessons from Dallas. That's that's going to be a whole feature we're going to do. not life lessons. I, mean, I don't know. I think it's good advice, though. I think it's a just lot, an opinion. <laughs> perspective is important. And you've seen and done a lot. You've seen it all. And now you're. Still out there kicking ass, making great new music, and I like again like the the style and the perspective. It's important. Keep keep steadfast. I don't have anything else to add to that. So well, I think thank this you. I mean, you know, <laughs> at forty five years old at this point, I'm just kind of like, well, you know, what's fun? Let's have some fun. Right. There's no guarantees in life. Mm. You can go work. A regular job and do whatever, whatever else expects you to do and get your medical benefits and all that shit and then that place is going to close down and you're fucked. So you may as well just play some fucking metal. There's no guarantees. Awesome. No guarantees in life. Play some fucking metal. <laughs> Dallas from Narcotic Wasteland. New song coming soon. New music coming soon. New album coming soon. Support this guy. Support his art. Support his band that he is a part of. And uh, thank you, man. Thank you for hanging out with Ghost Cult Magazine. I am Keefe, and we are out.